Hey guys, it's Gwyneth and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going through my jewelry collection. This is kind of going to be a first for both of us because I have my main piece of jewelry which I'll start off showing you but then I have a, I forget what it's called but it's like the, it's like a full length mirror and you open it and your jewelry is inside. I think there's a fancy word for it. I don't even remember what's in there. Like things that I have had since like middle school are hanging out in there. And I just thought it could be fun to one, show you my go-to jewelry pieces, just in case you're curious like what jewelry I like. And then just kind of a fun side of what jewelry have I been keeping since I was like 12 years old. I do have a few pieces actually my dad sent me when he was traveling. Oh gosh, I was in like first or second grade so I kept those. But those I'm not ashamed of because they're actually really pretty pieces and from around the world. But there are some like cringy Rue 21 purchases from middle school that I think are definitely going to be in there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out my jewelry. This is where I keep like my go-to items that I wear quite frequently. This is actually in here because I need to take it to the Kendra store. This is a Kendra bracelet that Taylor got me and as I was putting it on, it within like two weeks started bending as you can see here and it's like cracking so i was gonna see if i could just take this in and maybe they can just replace the band and keep the stones so i keep it in there just to remember to go do it but if i'm being honest it's been a long time and i haven't gone to do it i've been wearing this bracelet a lot i just got it about a month ago and i really like it because it spells out my name has my little tourist charm and i actually got this from the brand names for good i bought it because they were doing the collaboration with Maya Knight and her two babies and all the proceeds go to children charities so I just thought it was cute and I really wanted it and I like it a lot. I also got my sister Emma one with her son's name on it because you know it's a good cause and they're really really cute and maybe now when people ask me how to spell my name I can just like flash my wrist. <laughs> I love them I just love how delicate they are so it's just some gold hoops. I would you call I guess you'd call these hoops, yeah, but they're pretty tiny. I wanted small dainty ones. And my mom got me these. I love dainty jewelry and just really simple jewelry. So it just has an onyx stone in there and a gold chain. And so I love wearing that together. It's just the gold earrings with the gold necklace and the gold ring just kinda all goes together. So that is my go-to pieces. Necklaces I got from Shein. So you can actually layer some of these if you want. So I just throw them in here if I want to layer them. This one is also from Shein and it's just a gold bar that hangs down. And then the last one I keep in here is actually from a boutique in my hometown. It's this really dainty gold Texas. I just like it so much. It's super tiny. You've probably seen it in some of my videos. So I really like wearing this and layering layering it. Moving to my closet, you can see where I keep the rest of my jewelry. Then when you're coming into my closet, I forget what this is called, but it's like the mirror thing that opens up and you can actually lock it and that just opens and your jewelry is inside. That's where I keep the rest of my jewelry. So moving into here. Okay, so starting here, we have earrings right here. So some of these up here are just like random brands. These, I just, I think I got these from like Kato, but I really like the style of them because they clip here at the top and they have this like drop back earring, so it's just fun because you have this, you have the stud like through the piercing and then this hangs below your earlobe, but it looks, I think it looks cool. So, so I've kept them for so long. I like wearing it when my hair is up in a ponytail just to show the cool detail of it. I actually got these from my mom's jewelry boutique. I can leave a link to that down below. A lot of my jewelry I get from her and I just loved this color. I wore these for my sweet 16 because I had like a royal blue dress. These I think I just got from like Maurice's as well as these fun pops of color and I think these were gifted to me. These silver hoops with the detailing. I do like these. It's just I usually wear gold so I just don't wear these as frequently but they are super cute. And then here more hoops. 
again silver but I like these because they have a double hoop which is just wow which is just fun and a little different I actually don't remember where I got some of these I think these are Maurice's again I really like the blue stone remember when like these kind of earrings are really trendy it's been a while but oh gosh these I wore to senior prom because I had an all gold glitzy gown and these like picked up the sparkle and another set of hoops but again they're silver I used to wear silver hoops all the time and then here is my Kendra collection these I actually got a long time ago I love these but they are so heavy but they're just stunning I've tried to wear them more frequently but I definitely can't wear them back to back. Like I have to give my ears a rest the next day. I have fun orange one, these green ones. This is a pair that Taylor's mom got me that I thought are so cool. She knows my favorite color is green. And so there's these really cool iridescent green. And I just think the shape is so fun. Like I think it's cool that she got me more of a unique style just because these are cool, but I feel like these are kind of overdone, like the circle. So I just really liked that she took a twist on this one and got me one from a different collection so gorgeous these maroon ones i've had forever as well as these clear ones these clear ones actually may have been my first pair and then i got these mini mint green ones and i have a necklace to match and then these i think are really cool i think my mom got me these but i just like the kindreds with the different shapes because of course the stones are gorgeous and i love the OG original stone, but it's also fun seeing them in these different styles. I actually forgot to show you guys because these were on my dresser as well because I want to wear these. They're newer jewelry pieces I got this Christmas. So one is another gorgeous pair of Kendra's. That's why I thought this was the perfect time to show. Taylor's mom also got me these and just look how cool they are. So I put them out because I really want to wear these soon because they're just so unique again green she knows it's my favorite color i love to wear green jewelry really green anything so yeah i'm really excited they do feel lightweight too so it's just fun to see all the new styles that kendra is coming out with and how they're just innovating another item i have i did post about these on instagram and they're these beautiful here's the earrings focus these beautiful green earrings and they have like a bunch of different colored stones but you know I went with green. And so there's two of those like flowers for the earrings. And then I got a matching necklace. Because this is just stunning. Such good quality. Just even with this not focusing you can still see all the light that it picks up. It's almost like so sparkly that my ring light right now is making it really hard for the camera to focus. But isn't that just so stunning? So I have this out too just because I really like this set. And I've been looking to wearing green more. So this is the last bit of my earring collection. These, oh, I actually got these from Shein. I just think they're fun and sweet. And they're like fake pearls in the shape of a heart. And then, oh, I also got these from Shein. They're little pumpkins. And then these, I don't remember where I got them. But I've had them for a very, very long time. Um, whoa, I'm surprised I caught that can't believe I got that. These are also from Shein and I don't know if you can tell but it's like a fake pearl that like wraps around. This pair right here is actually another pair from my mom's boutique. Here I'll put it against my tan shirt so it focuses better. So what I wore these with is I wore a black sweater and then I put my hair in a high ponytail with my hair curled and then I put these on. So gorgeous and they're really lightweight too which I really liked because part of me was worried my ears were going to be hurting but nope and then the last pair that i have is another halloween themed earring and these are from shein and there's these cute bat earrings okay i know that looks really messy because i just threw things in there <laughs> but here is the next section over here which is still on the door is my necklaces so, some of these I wear a bunch, some have been hanging out here for years. Oh, this one, I wear it off and on, but I used to wear it a ton, and this is actually a diamond necklace that was my great-grandmother's, and I just love it. Stunning, so simple, on a gold chain, so this gets worn quite a bit. 
And then the other item that's on this hook is this tiered necklace. So it sits like this and it's pretty high up. And I really like this one. It comes to just a single clasp, which is nice and convenient, but at the same time it can get tangled really easily. So pros and cons to that one, but overall it's pretty cool. Then this is another necklace that I wear quite a bit because again, I love green stones. And this is a Kendra necklace. This one I've had for a while and I think I've only worn it maybe once or twice. It's just a slanted bar with some etchings on it. And then here is a necklace also from my mom's boutique that I've had for a while. And I just really like the dainty flower to the gray stone. I think that bluish green color with the gray is just really, really pretty. So I love that necklace. And then a callback to those tiny mint green Kendra earrings I had. Here I have here is a matching necklace. This is a necklace I got from Shein. It's just a chain and then it connects at the front with this circle and bar. I really like that one. This is also, I believe, a piece from Shein. And I don't know how to describe these, but I really like the way these fall. And they're kind of like a gold chain, but... It's not like a normal chain links. So if any of you know what this is called, let me know. It's almost like a ribbon necklace. Okay, and then you can't see, but there's a whole nother row down here. Actually, these both may be from my mom's store, if I remember correctly. It has a sparkly chain as well as a sparkly stone, but my favorite part is the sparkly chain just because the way it sits on the neck is really pretty and the light catches it and it just... So, so pretty. I love wearing that one in the summer just for the pink pop. Oh no! Okay, I just tangled the chain on accident trying to... I was trying to hold it weird while I showed you the last necklace and now I... Okay. Well, you still get the gist. It's just a silver chain but comes down to this really pretty blue stone. And I kind of like that it... I don't know what this is called, like the shape, but it just kind of reminds me of a pencil. <laughs> But it has this really cool, it's almost like a blue marble stone. Then here are my two sets of pearls. And I have a thinner set of pearls. And then I have some bigger sets of pearls, which I like pearls a lot. I really like the elegant look they have. I usually wear this smaller one over the large one just because they're both pretty heavy. So I prefer just the lightweight of the smaller. But sometimes big pearls are what an outfit needs so just whatever the outfit calls for i actually just bought a shirt the other day with these pearl necklaces in mind so i'll probably post a selfie with it on my instagram so go follow my instagram this is so cute my mom got me this necklace and me and my sisters all have them and it says the love between mother and daughter is forever and then it has this cute stone heart attached to it so i really like that and then these are sentimental jewelry i have it's on this really pretty sterling silver oh my gosh how am i forgetting the chain duh and then across that my grandma gave me for christmas very beautiful this actually is a very old necklace from my aunt's Oh, I think it's a little tangled. It was from my aunt's wedding and everyone in the bridal party, her color was like a navy blue and everyone in the bridal party had these matching navy blue stone necklaces. Oh, I forgot I have all these. So these are all bracelets that stretch and you can cinch. This was actually one I got from my sister's boutique, but I don't think she actually has that boutique open anymore. She used to have one for women's boutique of clothing and jewelry, and then she has one for babies, and she actually focuses on the babies one now. So this boutique isn't open anymore, but definitely I can link that below if you have any interest in checking out the one she has for the baby collection. This one I've had since I was gosh like six years old and it's one that cinches. You can see that it's missing one of its stones because it has one on this end but one came off on this end but I love this. It's like a knitted one that you can pull apart and then put it on your wrist and then fasten it and it has these beautiful stones. My dad actually got this for me when he was living in China and he had sent this over to me and I just thought it was so cool. I used to wear it every day 
for such a long time. Like, I love this piece. Oh, this was a piece I also got from my mother's store, so it has this really pretty red stone, and then it has the same cinching mechanism so you can put it on your wrist and cinch it on to stay so i just really like that color and i didn't have any red jewelry so this one really spoke to me okay next are actually anklets <laughs> i really like anklets in the summer i think it's a bracelet but i sometimes wear it as an anklet but i got this when i was in new orleans when i actually went there for both of my sisters callie and emma to run in the junior olympics and I just got a coast and have a free uh, trip to New Orleans and get souvenirs. And I don't have to do any physical labor because I played volleyball while the rest of my family did track. I only did track in high school, but not. This is not the level of my sisters. <laughs> okay, so here is an anklet that I have, which I kind of go through waves of whether I wear these or not. Like, I've had them for years and years and some years, some summers I wear them, some I don't. But this one has pretty blue starfish. And then this one I love because one of the colors is like a peachy orange. And then they're little sea turtles. All right, that completes the door. Now we can move to the main side of this. Okay, so up here I just have a few rings, which actually I don't know if I really wear any of these. Oh, this one I did wear for a while. Um, a family friend actually got this for me when she was in Greece, and I wore this a ton. Like, I'm pretty sure I was in middle school and I would wear this every day on my index finger, and it's one of those that you can tighten, like squish it and pull apart to fit your finger. And then, oh, I was obsessed with this, and I mean, it's still gorgeous, but this is a Kendra Scott ring, and it's just such a beautiful pink stone love this it actually kind of goes with my nails if my nails weren't so busted right now but yeah that's all i really have for rings i don't wear rings a ton i mean i wear this one every day but aside from that i don't really wear rings a ton or i go through a phase where i just wear one and i'll wear it for like three years <laughs> so moving here this is where i keep all my long necklaces mainly because it has this little pouch where they can kind of sit and not get broken i really don't wear long necklaces because i'm not a huge long necklace person but some of these are fun so like this one has this tan rope and then so it sets like a choker and then these oh my gosh yeah this is really hard to show when it's not on but there's just a bunch that comes down <laughs> into a stone i don't remember where i got this i've had it since i was in like middle school i don't know if i've ever actually worn it i don't think i could figure out how to get to lay right oh this I also don't remember where I got it, but it's a long, it's like a thick gold chain, and then it comes into a knot, and then it goes into like these little leaf. I always thought they were cool. Yeah, this is a really, very long necklace. Like it would go down to like my belt buckle. Oh, okay, this one is one necklace. It goes to one clasp, and it has a lot going on, but I did like to wear this with like really plain here. I think this looks when I put my sweatshirt as a background with a really plain like v-neck just so you could see so like this had to be the main part of the outfit like you know some accessories it needs to be the main attention and your clothes need to be kind of neutral to focus on it this is a Kendra Scott necklace that I have which is this really pretty kind of periwinkle color that one I wore a ton and then the next one is probably the necklace I wore the most of my long necklaces and I'm obsessed with this and my friend actually got it for me and it's a fossil brand it has these like really pretty diamonds in it and just so gorgeous and she got this for me as a birthday gift and I'm still obsessed with this and I'm pretty sure she got it for like my 16th birthday and I'm now 22. <laughs> this is where it's going to kind of be a mess because this stuff is mainly sentimental or random things I didn't want to throw away yet. So, like, I have extra masks in here and scrunchies. Like, they just sit in here. And I used to have more masks in here. When I'd need a new clean mask, I would just come in here and grab one. This is a super cute headband my friend Dylan got me. And I actually need to wear this again. She got me another one, too, that I wear a lot in the cold. This is a fossil watch that I begged my mom for when I was, I don't even know, like third or fourth grade. And I loved that it. it looked like a charm bracelet, but had a watch on it. 
and now I feel like this could actually be kind of trendy again just because like 90s vibes are back in trend you know oh these are just like my go-to like cheap sunglasses like if I want to have sunglasses at the lake or like poolside and I don't care if I lose them and here is where we kind of this is what I mean we have like random stuff in here like old beats headphones <gasps> okay so that break or that necklace I was telling you about that was from my aunt's wedding um it also had this matching bracelet that had all this royal these royal blue stones and it broke and so I put them all in here because it's so pretty I just need to get like it put back together into a bracelet <gasps> okay this I love and my sister got it for me for my last birthday but I messed it up and so I put it away in hopes that I can try to find a way to fix it but I don't know how but this side's still intact so it's basically how they looked on both sides there were these stars and it's like a ton of gold thread to fill them and one got snagged and then it all just started unraveling and I joke that it's a shooting star <laughs> But yeah, I put it away just to see if I could fix it, but I, even till like a month ago, I was wearing this constantly. And then this was a really beautiful coach bracelet that my aunt gave me for Christmas one year. It looks really cool because it's like a, I don't even know how to explain it. Like it's hard, but almost like a hard kind of jelly feeling and then it has coach on it. And then here is my pearl bracelet to match that larger pearl necklace I have. And then, oh my gosh, does anyone remember these? They were like mud from the water from the highest mountain, water from the lowest volcano, I don't even know. And it's like your highs and your lows and life comes together. Like these were so cool when I was in middle school and I just have it and I never gotten rid of it. I don't wear it, but it's almost just like, I just want to keep it because it's just funny to me. This was actually a bracelet. I forgot what these were called, but I remember these being super trendy where they'd have like the bar on them and it would make really thick bracelets. And my dad got this for me when he was in Russia, I think. Or maybe he was in Paris? I'll need to double check and ask him where he was when he bought this, but I've had this since I was like five years old so pretty oh my gosh i remember how trendy this bracelet used to be i haven't worn it in forever i think i got it from like maurice's and it's got this metal and then the ribbon loops through it and then you tie it at the end to tie it tight and then you have a whole like tassel thing hanging down this is actually pretty cute i need to put this front and center I've had that for like a decade. <laughs> okay, honestly, the rest is just kind of stuff that's just thrown in there, like when chokers were cool. I have this lace choker that has this cool sparkly-esque moment. And then a real sparkly choker. Oh my gosh, this is probably the choker I wore the most whenever chokers were cool, just because it was a simple black... What do you even call this material? It's supposed to be like fake leather strap, I feel like. And then just had a simple thing on it. And I loved this. I wore it probably too much. An embarrassing amount. And then this one, I think I maybe tried to wear once. But it's almost just like a really long shoelace with two gold aglets at the end. And you just wrap it around your neck like three times and you can tie it in a bow or a knot or whatever you want. That one, I think I either did wear it once or I attempted to wear it once and it was way too complicated. And so then the last thing I have down here are some more sunglasses. These used to be my vibe in like high school. They have the cool cheetah print. So those are kind of just thrown back there. I don't wear them anymore, but it's kind of just like if I want a cheap pair of sunglasses, just like. It's good to just have some. And then these I got like last year just because they're fun. And I got them for like a dollar off Shein. But they're all pink glasses. I actually forgot those were in there. I forgot a lot of jewelry was in here. I need to actually access this more. Alright guys, that is it for my jewelry collection. I was surprised to find some of those pieces in there. I definitely thought those didn't make it to college with me let alone after college when I moved to Dallas but they're there they're thriving and part of me feels like because they've been there this long I can't get rid of them it's almost like antique at this point 
Alright, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I also hope you like, comment, subscribe down below, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Another five minutes, and I can't deny the possibility anymore, so I checked the parking lot for his car, and he was gone. <laughs> Stupid me thought me. <laughs> Stupid me thought maybe he went to go get gas. <laughs> so I texted again. Where'd you go? No reply. I called twice, and both calls rang once and went straight to voice. <laughs> <laughs> and yep there it is then he blocked me she's on her way to pick me up oh my gosh this girl's writing this in the coffee house i was often told i'm cute but i'm questioning that now <laughs> that sucks i would assume it has nothing to do with her looks like i'm sure she is cute um because like you know that's the main thing you see of someone on a dating app like if he didn't think she was cute probably want to be on the date in the first place but it sounds like this guy just sucks